In this video, we will perform common metric volume conversions using unit fractions. In the first example, we want to convert 8.14 liters to milliliters. The first step is to write 8.14 liters as a fraction with the denominator of one. And now we multiply by a unit fraction to perform the conversion. Looking at the conversions, notice how one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. We use this conversion to form the unit fraction. Because we want liters to simplify out, and we have liters in the numerator here, we need to have liters in the denominator of the unit fraction. And therefore we have liters in the denominator and milliliters in the numerator. And again, because the conversion is one liter equals 1,000 milliliters, the unit fraction is 1,000 milliliters over one liter. Notice now we have liters divided by liters, and therefore the units of liters simplify out, leaving us with milliliters. So now we multiply to perform the conversion. We have 8.14 times 1,000, which is 8,140, and the units are now milliliters. So we know 8.14 liters equals 8,140 milliliters. Next, we want to convert 785 milliliters to liters. We begin by writing 875 milliliters as a fraction with the denominator of one. To perform the conversion, we use the same conversion as last time, that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. But now, we want milliliters to simplify out, and therefore, we have to have milliliters in the denominator of the unit fraction and liters in the numerator. And again, since one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters, the unit fraction is one liter over 1,000 milliliters. Here we have milliliters divided by milliliters, and therefore milliliters simplify out, leaving us with liters. So now we multiply, but notice this time we have a fraction. When multiplying, we have 785 divided by 1,000, and the units are liters. So to finish, we have to find this quotient 785 divided by 1,000 is equal to 0.785 or 0.785, and the units are liters. 785 milliliters is equal to 0.785 liters. Next, we want to convert 2.75 kiloliters to liters. So again, we write 2.75 kiloliters as a fraction with the denominator of one, and now looking at the conversions, one kiloliter is equal to 1,000 liters. We use this conversion to form a unit fraction because we want kiloliters to simplify out, and we have kiloliters in the numerator here. We have to have kiloliters in the denominator of the unit fraction and liters in the numerator. Using the conversion one kiloliter equals 1,000 liters, the unit fraction is 1,000 liters over one kiloliter. The units of kiloliters simplify out because we have kiloliters divided by kiloliters here. And now we multiply. Notice how we have the denominator of one, and therefore we just have 2.75 times 1,000, which is 2,750, and the units are now liters. 2.75 kiloliters equals 2,750 liters. And for the last example, we want to convert 25,900 milliliters to kiloliters. We begin by writing the beginning units as a fraction with the denominator of one. For this example though, notice how there's no direct conversion from milliliters to kiloliters. We'll first convert milliliters to liters using the conversion one liter equals 1,000 milliliters, and then we'll convert liters to kiloliters using the conversion one kiloliter equals 1,000 liters. Because we have to use two conversions, we will need two unit fractions for this example. Let's first convert milliliters to liters. We want milliliters to simplify out, and therefore we have to have milliliters in the denominator and liters in the numerator. And again, because one liter equals 1,000 milliliters, the first unit fraction is one liter over 1,000 milliliters. We have milliliters divided by milliliters, Therefore, milliliters simplify out, leaving us with liters, but we want kiloliters, which means for the second unit fraction, because we want liters to simplify out, we need to have liters in the denominator and kiloliters in the numerator. 
and then using the conversion, one kiloliter equals 1,000 liters, the unit fraction is one kiloliter over 1,000 liters. We have liters divided by liters. Liters simplify out, leaving us with kiloliters. So now we multiply. In the numerator, we have 25,900. In the denominator, we have 1,000 times 1,000, which is 1 million. And the units are now kiloliters. So to finish, we have to find this quotient. 25,900 divided by 1 million is equal to 0 0.259. We have 0 0.259 kiloliters. I hope you found this helpful.